Uh, now, it's been 10 years since the controversial Channel 4 documentary Benefit Street first hit our TV screens. I can't believe it's been 10 years. It flies by, doesn't it? And that show followed the lives of the residents of James Turner Street in Birmingham, where it was claimed that 95% of them did not work. But while some branded it cruel and exploitative, others felt that it shone a light on Britain's crumbling benefit system. A decade on, our reporter David Lum has been back to see what life is like for the people living there. You see this street here? Well, I think it got like about 4.7 million the first episode. I know documentary on Channel 4 has done that in the last 20 years. One of the worst. Love production was all right until the show aired, and then no one ever heard from them. They made all this money, and it was just like, okay, where's ours? <laughs> Come down! Who'd have thought a documentary about One Road in Birmingham would become one of the most controversial of all time? Hundreds of complaints, nationwide debate about the welfare system, and even a decade on, the very mention of Benefit Street triggers anger. I wasn't happy about it at all. I even had an egg thrown at my door. Some of the people who were interviewed didn't even live on here. The mother of two, Sherelle Dillian, starring in the show, opened up new opportunities. It does make me feel emotional. I'm also happy to see my journey. We only got like paid £50 worth of Morrison vouchers to take part and they filmed us for like 18 months. We let us into our home, all these things and then just to get £50 worth of Morrison vouchers that didn't even stretch, you know, was a bit of a shambles. Love Productions has been criticised for misleading residents about the purpose of the show and for not providing enough support afterwards. The executive producer says none of that is true. The documentary is about sort of being true to life and true to someone's experience. And if you bring money, it changes the relationship. The Murdoch press and all that crowd, they're the ones who twisted the public's perception about these people. And in terms of aftercare, we moved Dee out of James Turner Street. We put her up in a hotel. Fungi moved to Cardiff. We put him through rehab. We did a lot for people. But what's it like in James Turner Street today? Well, this school, in special measures when Benefit Street aired, is now rated outstanding. And a green space has been set up to promote community pride. Figures obtained by the BBC show the number of people in receipt of benefits in the area around James Turner Street is about the same. The number of recorded crimes has gone up by more than 1,400. Mother of four, Angelina Fossu, moved to the road in 2017 three years after the programme was broadcast. We are looking for another place to stay because here it's not, it's not good for us. We don't like the streets, we don't like deadness and the rats. Inside the house, in your room, we have tried our everything possible best, but they are still keep coming. You think more or less with the programme that was done, there would be some assistance to the homeowners are generally to improve the area, but instead it's gone down worse. It's not fit for human consumption. Birmingham City Councillor Sybil Spence says the authority has done what it can to support James Turner Street families, including improving street lighting and organising job fairs. There were a lot of homeless people coming, so they housed them there. The council cleaned the area. The council tried its best. The council tried to allow people to live a decent life. They even tried to give them jobs, but some took it and some wouldn't take it. I do have sympathy with people who say, listen, that's kind of tarred our street. We've got a reputation that we didn't ask for. Uh, and, you know, and, I, and I, I, do, I do regret that. It wasn't our motive to do that. Our expectation was that this would be a series that would kind of fly under the radar. Could you do it again? You couldn't call it Benefit Street because I think the title has sort of become toxic and I think people wouldn't be happy to be called that again. But filming a group of people again, listen, we're living in 2024. The situation for some people is probably a lot worse than it was in 2014. Um, and so another version of a Benefit Street is possible. A decade after it aired, the stars of Benefit Street have long moved on from James Turner Street. But will James Turner Street ever move on from its association with Benefit Street. David Lum, BBC News. Oh, really interesting reflections. A decade on from Benefit Street.